But we are live on the air right now, so I'm going to start some music. Cool. Uh, what am I going to play? How about our theme song? Well, hi there. Happy Thursday. It's January the 30th, 2020, and I'm Eric, talking at you once again from beautiful Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where we are live. And I don't measure progress by the number of achievements I do. I measure it by how satisfied I am with myself. So by my standards, today was an incredibly productive day. <laughs> Well done. That's, that's my, <laughs> my new way of being happy with myself. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our live by a Spreaker.com podcast. Uh, it's going to take me a little minute to get my uh, bearings here because it's been a while since we've done this. Um, and I unfortunately didn't load up any sound effects for James. So. Next time. Next time. Uh, how's it going, Gord? I am doing okay. I'm sick of being sick, but, uh, other than that, I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, that's, that's all, that's all I got. Very nice. <laughs> I spent, uh, obviously we had a little bit of a scheduling, whatever you want to call it this week. Mm -hmm. I spent last night with a friend of mine who I haven't seen in 10 years and he's like an old guy now. Oh, no shit, eh? Fuck, What's good thing that didn't happen to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, drugs and alcohol. <laughs> As always, I want to give a quick shout out to Mike and the crew at Pit Lane Parlay, the much bigger deal than I thought it was racing podcast. All things IndyCar and racing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take a pit stop over at uh, Apple Podcasts and leave them a review. And hi to Queenie at CQP Moments and our boys at Thor's Kin. Two great podcasts you can listen to on Anchor and Podbean. And that whole thing, uh, maybe go over to Apple Podcasts and leave us a review too. Because we're because we've just started over again, we're back to no reviews. So it'd be For great if you could leave us one. Fuck you, Apple. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly how to reconcile the, the old show with the new show and... Um, and merge them, and I don't care if I do at this point. So, yes. kind of, we're just starting all over again, which sort of shoots us in the foot numbers wise. But um, I'm having a lot of fun with Spreaker, so I think it's a good choice. I agree, fully agree. And Fuck anyone Apple. who enjoys us on on Anchor or via the channels that Anchor distributes us to, we are still there. We just have two daddies. <laughs> uh, I wish we had the music for the theme to My Two Dads. That'd be fantastic. I No sound effects this time. <laughs> I did want to... Oh, I already screwed up. I wanted to enable the cameras for this. Oh, shit. But I forgot to uh, say anything or do that. So, And for the record, I'm kind of happy with that because I am not being very photogenic right now. There, I'm... Oh, Sad. oh no, we're good. Okay, uh, what happened here? All right, uh, let's get on with the show. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, just getting used to navigating the live situation. It's a little strange, but it appears to be going well. Um, so I want to get off the crappy American stories. I do have one funny one I want to talk about, but I got a ton of shit that I want to get into. Before I do that, I just <clears> thought. <throat> I would kind of sum up what's been going on recently and my attitude of late. <clears throat> uh, it's blatantly obvious that the powers that be are employing certain distraction techniques 
to try and get people to divert their attention from the fact that the American Empire is failing massively. And it's just so blatantly obvious and ridiculous. And these little stories that are getting thrown in our face are uh, really silly. Harry and Meghan and stupid things. And this goddamn coronavirus is the worst of the worst of it. Uh, Every major country's health officials have come forward and said it's not as bad as the flu. Um, (laughs) They're they're trying to make a number sound scary, but it's not. It's the least scary number ever. It's 8,000 people out of a country of uh, one and a half billion. (laughs) Under 8,000. You didn't even hit 8,000. And it's, you know... There hasn't been a second confirmed case in Ontario. Uh, there's a handful all over Canada, but when you look at the number of Chinese people in Canada and the number of people that travel back and forth on a daily basis, the fact that there's uh, less than 100 people here who have it is remarkable. Mm-hmm. And even if that number was more, what difference does it make? It's not as harmful as the flu. It's not even as harmless as harmful as SARS. And SARS was nothing. Yeah, exactly. SARS was the Y2K of epidemics. And this is going to be less than that. And it's going to be a a matter of time. Within weeks, people are going to realize this story is going nowhere and they're going to forget about it. Um, But I don't understand why the world is jumping all over it and, and trying to scare people. And it's quite obvious that, you know, we've got a lot going on with China right now. With Huawei trying to take over the 5G thing, that's not just in Canada. That's worldwide. Mm-hmm. And this trade war that's been going on for well over a year now, that uh, it, it makes sense that right now the Americans are going to try and make China look bad. And it's working because all the dialogue on most major news organizations has turned to the racism that's stemming from this and the anti-Chinese sentiment that's coming from this stupid non-virus. It started here in Ontario uh, a couple of days ago. And families that are actually uh, parents that are want to force all Chinese ch- children uh, that are in schools to be taken out of school for 21 days. Um, so they don't spread the disease. See, that's absolutely that's, that's actually le- that's actually legit. That's I can't believe even out of those words, but yeah, that actually happened. I know. I it's it's legit. <laughs> the worst possible scenario that could come from this, and I I hearken back to seventy years ago what we did to our Japanese citizens here in Canada because mm-hmm. of an American uh, fear. Yep. I don't want to start doing that to Chinese people. I'm not saying the Chinese government is good. I'm not saying, uh, you know, defend them or, or what they do or anything like that. But we, we can't just start turning on our Chinese-born citizens because of a stupid non-virus story. China uh, has a whole lot of fucked up shit they're guilty of. Let's just focus on that. We don't need true. to make stuff up. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we, we definitely don't need to make stuff up. And, and there are good people coming out of China. They're not all oh, evil. Yeah, no. Most of them. Most of them are trained to be evil. Um, <laughs> they, they learn evil from a very young age. But nevertheless, I don't want this stupid... As I said, I'm not going to read you the big speech I've got here. I was going to read a big, long speech. Um, what can I... Oh, the hype around the coronavirus is your fault. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, y- you can't buy into it. Uh, this is this is everything that Gordon and I have talked about for two years, uh, kind of coming to a head all at once. This is the first one where I was way ahead of the curve, and uh, Gordon's right along there with me, although he was pretty worried about the spread, too. Although it looks more dangerous because it can spread to dogs, but uh, that who does that affect other than Koreans, really? Don't eat your dog, you'll be okay. Um, 
And I did see, <laughs> God damn it, I can't believe I saw it. I wish I hadn't, but I did see a couple of posts <clears throat> that I believe you alluded to the last time we talked about it, where people were dumping out Corona beer. Yeah, I thought yeah. Um, and you people, you just go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. Anyone who thinks the coronavirus came from Corona, you just uh, keep on Drink keeping on. <laughs> Drink bleach and as much of it as possible, please, please. Rid the world of your stupidity. So, don't don't buy into this. And hey, you guys can call in right now. You can uh, live chat with me on Spreaker dot com and give me your opinion of this. Um, that's actually really really cool. I guess you you probably don't have it up, do you, Gord? So I'm not going to text. I. Anybody. Did it's my phone keeps shutting off? So. Ah, it's not not a big deal. Um, no, so it's yeah, it's I, there. I I've shared just, it. I've, <laughs> I've, I've just never done the uh, the live chat before. Well, I've I've done it. No one's done it with me, Adrian. If you're out there listening live on speaker dot com, it'd be great to uh, if you sent us a hey, how you doing? Or you can always call in six zero four six five five nine six three zero. Phone lines are open. Operators are standing by. Let me know what you think of the. Uh, I haven't come up with a clever name for it yet, but the the um, no virus. It's pissing me off, and I, you know, obviously it was noticeable how annoyed I'm getting with the American rhetoric because it's the same goddamn thing every day, and no one's responding in any way that makes any sense and it's understandable because the government's collapsing but we we can't keep denying these shootings that are going on every day and having a bunch of people rally around guns that can't be real like someone has to figure that out um the whole goddamn country is just driving me absolutely batty with this, this stupidity every day the only just, story. You think that anything can't get any worse? It just or people just can't get any dumber all of a sudden. Well, yeah. you you have to imagine the Roman Empire didn't fall overnight, right? It was a gradual decline into just debauchery, degeneration, into a point where the rest of the world didn't care. Uh, British Empire, same thing. People just started walking away. And the American Empire is falling. It's going to take years. It's not going to happen overnight. But they are just like every other major empire before them. They're they're starting to fail. And you can see it in their society. It's a complete degeneration. I'm sorry. I wish it could be funnier. But it's, it's not funny when it's true like that. Um, it's kind of sad to see. Um, yeah, it's just, it is, it's just welcome to the world. On the other hand, you know, things are, up. that's all. I- <laughs> things are falling into place the way they are supposed to, uh, gold and silver got a big boost again, uh, which means cryptocurrency got a little bit of a boost, although Bitcoin fell a bit, but that'll be definitely it's something been- to start keeping more of an eye on. It's been going a little bit up and down. Uh, my that hundred and thirty bucks I had, which at one point dropped down to seventy, no sixty, didn't drop down to sixty something or seventy something. I can't remember, uh, but it went back up to a hundred and fifteen, and is now sitting at around the hundred and three dollar mark. So I checked the day before yesterday. Yeah, I don't. My prediction is it's not going to get any less volatile uh, really soon. I think it's it's going to be up and down for a while yet. But it'll stabilize uh, eventually. Or it won't. <laughs> um, but as I've said before, I think Bitcoin is going to be the Napster of cryptocurrencies. It's, it's going to do what it does, and then it's going to disappear, and a better one is going to be left in its place. And by well, then, as long as I can transfer this money over to that one, then I'm happy. <laughs> by then, this show might have a couple of bucks we could actually invest. 
into something like that.